And then, uh, so we have had uh, lessons from the uh, most recent uh, mega water disaster, that was the uh, East Japan earthquake. Now, we are now listening to the lessons learned from the uh, United States, that is uh, the Hurricane Katrina, other flooding uh, in that area. So, Ms. Tassi, floor is yours. Thank you, Kenzo, um, and thank you for having this forum. I think it's going to be um, informative for all of us and looking forward to July, too, at the UN. Um, I think the most recent, our recent flooding, um, everyone has heard about what our response to Katrina was in the United States uh, several years ago and the lessons we learned from that about the need for a resilient system. But I think one of the important lessons that we're learning um, can be demonstrated in the most recent floods we'd have in the United States last spring and summer. Our two largest rivers, the Missouri River and the Mississippi River, experienced historic levels of water and flooding. And I think what we learned was that as a result of a flood that the Mississippi River incurred in 1927, uh, we designed a system, uh, a flood control system, which we call the Mississippi River and Tributaries Flood Control System. That system is a series of levees, um, vetments, catchment basins, floodplains, and floodways that have all been designed to avoid flooding. What happened last spring and summer, we had historic levels of flooding, and for the first time in 84 years, which is the first time since 1927, we had to fully operate this control system. We had to open floodways. Um, we had to um, prepare our folks who were living downstream for the eventuality of water coming down. Uh, what we did was open those floodways to historic levels, but as a result of that, this, the system design, we designed it for a system and the system worked. Uh, we prevented flooding from 9.8 million acres. We prevented $110 billion worth of damage and not one life was lost. So what we learned from, 90, from 1927 to now is that we need to take a system approach to flood control and flood damage reduction. Um, what we also learned from this, and I think one of the reasons we were successful in this flood fight this last spring and summer, was communication. We had every level of government, local government, state government, and federal government involved in preventing flooding. We had over 90 conference calls uh, throughout the region. We had um, uh, people um, knowing in advance about the impending floodwaters coming, so we got everyone out of harm's way. We used social media and Facebook uh, to, to inform people about not only where they should go and what they should do in, re in response to this, but also how they could help in the flood fight. We had a com joint command center um, that communicated daily with everyone affected in the area, and I think that the collaboration within our levels of government, the watershed approach, systems approach to what it is we were fighting, um, as well as the involving everyone on the, on the ground to help with the flood control was, was one of the lessons learned. Thank you very much. So one important lesson is that you know, learning from the past pays off. That is very important. And you also stress the importance of the communication. That is very important because you know, in many newspapers and TVs after the, after the earthquake and other the, the disasters, they say that always there's a confusion on the communication. And also you mentioned the social media, usage of the social media. That is also very important in the future you know, actions for us.